Hi, my name is Jan Jungboom, and in this video, I want to show you how easy it is to write unit and integration tests that run on physical hardware using Embed OS 5. I have a Freedom K6RF from NXP here with me, and we're going to run a number of tests on this device, specifically to test if the network interface is working. We can actually relay data from the physical microcontroller to the cloud. MWS contains uh, Green Tea. Green Tea is a test runner for a regression tests specifically. And creating a new Green Tea test is very trivial. Create a tests folder in your project, create a test folder in there, and then name your test. So we have a simple test. And the absolute minimum specification for a Green Tea test is this. We include a Unity, our test framework. We include the test runner. Um, we do a setup. We specify what host runner. So we have a file that runs on the computer that communicates back to the device that we want. In this case, just the auto one. A number of test cases, and then we say that the harness should run. So a trivial test case would be to see if we can actually multiply numbers. So test assert equal. We expect four, and the actual value in this case, two by two times two. So that is something that should pass. Through Embed CLI, the command line interface for Embed OS, um, we have the Embed test command, and we can say, well, we want to see what kind of um, tests there actually are. So this lists all the tests, and there's hundreds of them in Embed OS itself, but we also see our own simple test. So running this is trivial as well, as long as you have the device connected. Run Embed test uh, v for verbose, so we can actually see what's happening. So at this point, it starts building the application. If you specify multiple tests, we'll build multiple applications. Then it will copy over the file to the device and then start the test runner. So it connects over serial um, and the device sends then data back. So we see that we have simple tests running um, that runs really fast because, well, just verifying is if two times two is four is pretty trivial. If we now change this to two times three, we'll see that the test starts failing. And when a test fails, it also tells us what happens on which line. So we see that on line 10, we had a failure, we expected four and we got six. And line 10 is exactly the place where we run. Now this was really easy and this is really nice for stuff that is self-contained, but we can also do um, the harder test. So what, we've, what I've done is um, set up a, another test case, also with just one test in there. Um, and this is a test case that uses the Embed HTTP library to send some data to a central location. Um, this is PTSV2. It's a, it's a website where you can just send some random data and it will then store it. It's a, it names it a toilet and everything is sent to it as a dump, which is kind of funny. So our, um, our test case here is that we create a network interface. So it gets the default interface, so the Ethernet interface on the K6RF, connects to the network, verifies that the connection is there. Um, it can be relatively simple. So we could say, well, we just post the data to PTSV2. Um, we send some data from the analog sensor so it gets some noise, so nothing connected here. And then verify, okay, is the um, response correct? And did we get um, a return code of 200? And then leave it at that. But for this video, I wanna do a little bit more. I wanna have a test runner on the host, on my computer as well. It's going to verify if the data that was sent to the cloud was actually correct as well. So you can do that through Python. Um, so this is a very simple Python test runner. Uh, we inherit from uh, base host tests. Uh, we have a logger that we import. Um, and in setup, we set a number of callbacks. And these are callbacks that can be called from the device directly to the host. So we can say create toilet, which is the moment that we start up. And in there, we get the MAC address of the device, and we use the MAC address as an identifier here. So my MAC address of my K6REV is AA46, etc. Um, so the first time we start up, we make sure that the toilet is there, we actually have created it. And the second time is when we dump the message. And that message, we get the value of the sensor. So we can verify whether the value that the device read and sent to us through the test runner actually matches what, what is in the cloud. We look at the last message that was posted, we look at the raw value, 
and then verify if those values matches and then say uh, yes it passed or no it didn't pass so communication back to the device is done or back from the device to the test runner is done through green tea send kv and green tea parse kv um, so the moment that we've, we've got the MAC address from the network layer, we send the create toilet message with the value of the MAC address that gets received by the host. It stores it so it can actually later, when we dump the value that we have, can actually verify that we have it there. So once again, if we look at all the tests that we have, um, I can run my toilet test. So right now I uh, have uh, eight dumps in here. So after this test will be run, we'll have an extra one. And we'll do some logging here as well. Running this will take a little bit longer than just now, most because we need to get an IP address and actually start up the network interface. So it takes a couple of seconds. So we receive the create toilet, and this is what we get from, um, from our host test runner. So this runs on a computer, and this is the data we get on the device. So this is our MAC address. We get a data, a value that we get in the cloud. We verify that the message is actually passed through, and our test runs. And as you'll see here, we'll have 8001 with a value of 0 0.246, which is also the data that we received from the device. So this is how we can test a complete flow from something running on the device to getting data actually in the cloud all in an automated fashion. So this is something you can um, add to your test automation, something that you can run whenever someone commits something to a project. And this is a really, really nice set of tools to ensure code quality on embedded applications. Thank you.